In this quick video demo, I'm going to show you how you can pull Regents questions and create a Regents question assignment in preparation for the upcoming Regents for your students. So, what you're going to do is log into Castle Learning. The easiest way to log into Castle Learning in our district is actually through ClassLink. There'll be no username and password to remember. It'll automatically log you in. And then on the left hand side, after you've logged in, you're going to click on My Assignments. So if you have used Castle Learning before, this is going to show you um, different assignments that you have created. So by default, if I click on all of my courses, I'll see a list of all the assignments that I have created. So let's say you would just want to pull a region. The first step that we're going to do, well, there's one of two ways to do this, is we're going to select the option that says Create from Public Assignments. So all regences are encased in this area in Castle Learning called Public Assignments. So you'll see here on the left, now we just need to drill down to the subject area and the state in order to find the New York State Regents exam. So let's say, for example, we were looking for the English uh, Regents examination. So under English, what we'll do is we'll go to English Language Arts, click on the plus sign next to that, and then you will click on Castle Assignments, and then we will click on the plus sign next to New York. Now the Regents exams generally are towards the end of the lists of different types of state exams or Regents exams that are available. So as I scroll down here, you can see the latest one that is available is the one from August of 2022. So let's say I want my students to be able to practice with this one. So I'm going to check mark the one that I want and then I can click import. So what this does is it imports the test in its entirety. So if you want the students to be able to practice a full Regents exam, this is the way to do it. But if you would like to do it a different way where you would just like to pull certain questions out from maybe a couple of different Regents exams, you would use another method, which I'm going to show you. So the second method to doing this is I'm going to go back over and click on my assignments so I get over to my assignments page. And instead of creating from a public assignment, I'm going to create a empty assignment and I'm going to manually add questions. So I'm going to type this in as my special studies English Regents. English Regents Review. And I'm going to click create new assignment. So now once I click create new assignment, these are the different ways I can search for questions. So one of the ways to search for the region's questions is to go over to this option, public assignments. And then here where it says course, you're going to need to pick the course where these region's exams are going to be. So remember for English, it was under English language arts. So I'm going to click English Language Arts, and that is going to create a list of, again, all different state exams. And like I said, the Regents exams usually are towards the bottom. So if we go down all the way to the bottom of our list, we will eventually find the Regents exams. So we can see here, here's all of them. So let's say, for example, I just want to pick out maybe a few questions from the 2022 one in August. So if I click on the plus sign, it's going to list all of the questions and then I can decide which ones I want to add to this. So we'll go down here. So you can see here I could have the system manually pick questions randomly or I could check all of the questions and then just uncheck questions that I didn't want to include or you could go through each one of the questions and then you could check off which questions you definitely want to include as part of your exam. So I'm going to do this, this option here. I'm going to check everything off and then I will just unselect whichever ones that I don't want. And then once I'm done with that, this little pop-up will always appear on your screen as you are floating through all the questions. It's going to add 24 questions to this, so then I can hit Done. Now, this doesn't mean that this is the only English Regents exam that I can pull questions from. If I wanted to add more questions, I could do so. To add more questions, over underneath where it says Question Options, there's an option that says Add More Questions. And then I could go through this process again, 
of going to public assignments and navigating to where the regents exams are and then adding questions. Once you're ready to assign this to your students, you'll be coming over here to click My Assignments. And again, if you don't see the assignments that you created, you, one way to find all of them, if you weren't sure what folder it was put in, is to click on All Courses, and this will list all of the assignments that you have created. Next video, we're going to go through the steps of how to do the assigning through Schoology. And it's just a couple of steps that require getting a link from Castle Learning and putting it in a particular location in Schoology.